to the 15,000 men and women who played a part in constructing this magnificent Queensferry crossing. I say, lift your eyes to this wonder of our age and think of this. On this day, 100 years from now, as a future generation gathers to mark its centenary, they will gaze at these towers and they will still marvel at what you have achieved. On behalf of the people of Scotland today, I thank you and I salute you. The nation's heart is bursting with pride at what you have achieved. Your Majesty, we are honoured that you are here with us today. You, supported by the Duke of Edinburgh, have been at the centre of many key moments in Scotland's national life. We are delighted that you are also at this one. On the day that your great-grandfather opened the original fourth bridge in 1890, he declared it as a wonder of the age. When you opened the fourth road bridge in 1964, you said that it showed Scotland's determination to remain among the leaders in all branches of technology. Today, this magnificent Queensferry crossing takes its own place as a modern marvel. In declaring open the south side of the Queensferry crossing and then traveling along the bridge, I was reminded that today's ceremony takes place exactly 53 years since that memorable day when I opened its predecessor, the Fourth Road Bridge, which has served Scotland so well during more than half a century. The three magnificent structures we see here, spanning three centuries, are all feats of modern engineering and a tribute to the talents, vision, and remarkable skills of those who designed and built them. The Queensferry Crossing joins its iconic and historic neighbors to create not only a breathtaking sight over the Firth of Forth, but to provide an important link for so many in this community and the surrounding areas. First Minister, the Duke of Edinburgh and I are delighted to be able to join you and the people of Scotland to celebrate this extraordinary achievement. 